think I'm in the mood to go shopping for some Five Nights at Freddy's merch. You want to come? Okay, let's go. Let's go see what Hot Topic has in store for us today. Their selection is actually a lot smaller today than it normally is, but still looks like they've got some epic items for us to check out. Oh, I haven't seen this coloring book in stores yet. And this is the one that has the glow in the dark pages. I haven't finished my other FNAF coloring book yet, so I'm not going to get this today, but good to know that it's here. I always love the look of FNAF shirts at Hot Topic, but I don't really wear a lot of graphic tees anymore, so I think I'm going to pass on these today, but they still look really cool. I like how they've added this into the pit style t-shirt. It looks pretty cool, don't you think? Oh, they have this Freddy hat that I see everywhere these days. Maybe I should get it to help me through this Canadian winter in style. Hehe, <laughs> bunny squish. Hehe, <laughs> I love these things so much. My ADHD brain really wants to get this, but another part of my brain is telling me to be a responsible adult. Who will win? Wait till the end of the haul to find out. Oh, cool. They have an into the pit hat as well with pit bonnie or spring bonnie or whatever you want to call them poking their head out of a ball pit. Looks like Jacob found a cool Glamrock Freddy shirt with a tie-dye style and are you ready written in big letters on the back. I don't wear a lot of color, so no thanks, but cool fine, Jacob. Okay, now this shirt looks super cool. It looks like the front cover of a comic book, but with little nods to FNAF through the design. As hard as it is to say no to this shirt, I gotta tell Jacob to put it back. Huh, this spring trap shirt is neat too. It says, so tell me, what do you fear on the front and has a cool pink and green vibe going on all over the shirt. Makes me think of a watermelon. Watermelon chica, maybe? Moving on. Look at how adorable the glam rocks are on this shirt. Oh my goodness. I love the gray tie-dye vibe of the shirt. That really makes the design pop. Can you believe it has been almost a year since the FNAF movie came out? And now we are waiting for the second one to drop in December of 2025. That is actually insane. It feels like yesterday I was seeing the movie in theaters. Cool to see that they still have movie merch in the stores. I really need a new water cup. I am so tempted to get this this one, but I think it might be a little too small. It has a straw with a little let's eat decoration on it, which is adorable and makes me think of my own FNAF song, Let's Eat, which if you haven't heard it yet, you totally should check it out, just saying. The cup also has Freddy Fazbear's pizza on it. It kind of makes me think of a cup you would get if you actually dined in a Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria. Like I can just picture myself drinking chocolate milk out of this. Now this is a good size for my new water cup. This 40 ounce stainless steel tumbler is absolutely perfect. I love the design on it. I cannot wait to bring this home and use it daily. Don't forget to drink enough water every day, guys. Seriously. Hot Topic always has a ton of cool jewelry. Like, look at these bestie bracelets of the sun and moon. They tighten and loosen at the back, so they'd fit comfortably. Sadly, my bestie wouldn't wear FNAF jewelry, and I would feel bad making Jacob wear it with me, so maybe I'll put these back. They also have this pack of Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy, Chica, and Mr. Cupcake bracelets, but I sort of feel like I could just make these at home if I really wanted to. But I will admit, these little charms of the characters are super adorable. I am obsessed with these cupcake earrings. Oh my god. But they feel really heavy. Like, I feel like they would get really uncomfortable in my ears easily. But they do glow in the dark, so that's so cool. Every time I go into a Hot Topic, I swear they always have this pack of FNAF earrings and every time I am insanely tempted to buy them. I always say, oh, I'll get them next time. So you know what I'm gonna do today? Put them back and say I'll get them next time. Another Sun and Moon Bestie set, this time in necklace form. Again, my bestie wouldn't wear this, so let's just put those back back, shall we? Oh my god, they have FNAF PJs here. I have been looking for ages and they haven't had my size, but today must be my lucky day because they do. Hello, new streaming pants. I am gonna be so cozy. I like the design on these with the main four animatronics plus spring trap. They are so freaking cool. Looks like they don't have a ton of plushies in store today. They have these special delivery ones out, which I'm assuming they're just trying to get rid of since the game is no longer available. I kind of want them, but why do they have this kind of texture on them? Ew, no, this is a no-no for me. My sensory issues could never snuggle with this. Ugh, yucky. Oh, cool, they still have the marionette Funko Pop. When I was here last, they were totally sold out in minutes, and I was lucky to get my hands on one. Hehe, <laughs> Wiki Freddy, hehe. <laughs> I can't buy this. I would never stop fidgeting with it. Of course, they still have the hand puppets. Uh, no, thank you. I'm, I'm good. I'm not gonna buy that. Oh, they have a Nightmare Freddy plush backpack. As much as I like the look of these, they are not at all functional for all the crap I carry in my purse. <gasps> oh 
my god, you two's shoulder riders. Yay! I am so happy that these are in Canadian stores now. They have the same Freddy that I already have and the Sun one too. I don't have the Sun one yet, but damn, these little guys are expensive. Also, check out this Circus Bonnie plushie. He looks like a sad little clown and I kind of love it, but not enough to buy it. Maybe next time, Bonnie. All right, Hot Topic had some cool stuff, but let's go check out what Spencer's has today and not go to the back of the store for any reason whatsoever. Oh my goodness, I don't think I have ever seen so many FNAF plushies in a Spencer's before. I love that these are finally in Canada. They also have two kinds of FNAF shirts, but I am too focused on the plushies right now to care. For the U2's sit plushies, they have Vanny, Freddy Fazbear, Montgomery Gator, and Roxanne Wolf, who I already have at home sitting nicely on my shelf. I love seeing more U2's items popping up in retailers lately. I cannot wait for them to get even more variety. I wish they had Glamrock Freddy here too. They also have three plush bags here. They have the Foxy one, which is like $60. <laughs> that is a tad too much for me. Please give this video a like. And a Freddy one, which I see a lot of this one, and it always looks so odd to me. Like, I don't know what it is, but this one's kind of weird looking. And finally, they have this Chica one with her cupcake. I just realized they have more U2's plushies. Oh my goodness, check out the sun and moon. Spencer's has a ton of mugs here. I am not surprised I found a Springtrap cup as well as a Withered Freddy cup, but why are Spencer's mugs so huge? Like, they're way too big in my opinion. What do you think, though? I don't think I have ever seen plush earrings before, but there is a first time for everything. Look at these cupcake earrings. They also have Chica with her Let's Eat bib on and Foxy, who I think looks the coolest as earrings. That's such a weird thing to say. This FNAF water tumbler is not as cool as the one in Hot Topic in my opinion, but still looks neat, I guess. If you need a drink, it'll get the job done. These hats are killing me. Oh my God, Freddy looks so silly on this beanie. And why does Glamrock Freddy on this hat look like he's seen horrors? Horrors? I guess the Springtrap backpack looks cool, but oh my gosh, for $80, I think I will pass. They also have this Freddy wallet with a chain on it, so you know it's extra edgy and cool. Ooh, more FNAF PJs. This is more color than I like to wear, but this is still super cute. These ones are more my style, but I think I still prefer the Hot Topic ones. I don't know, what do you think? I have always wanted to put my feet inside of Freddy Fazbear, and now I can. Do I need more lanyards? No. Do I need a FNAF lanyard? Yes. Okay, we should go before I spend my rent on this store, but hey, check out this poster. GameStop usually has quite a bit of FNAF stuff, but oh my goodness, there is like nothing here. I can't even find the ugly circus baby plush. Here are some FNAF mystery keychains with a ton of possibilities for who you could get. This red hat is pretty cool, but red really isn't my color. Oh look, it's the Freddy backpack plush that I see everywhere again. I want to like this sweater, but um, the teeth on the hood is so weird. Like, I'm sorry, I cannot vibe with this. Ooh, okay, this Freddy plush is much cuter than the other ones. I like this one more. They also have the Chica one we just saw in Spencer's as well. And I guess that's it for GameStop. Okay, let's go to Showcase and see what they have for us. You haven't been here before? It's kind of like a as seen on TV or more accurately an as seen on TikTok kind of store. You know what I mean? Oh, look, they've got these reversible plushies right at the front of the store. Looks like they only have Foxy who flips into Nightmare Foxy. Did you know that he's my favorite from FNAF 4? And they've also got Chica with her adorable let's eat bib and she also turns into a nightmare. Nightmare Chica is probably the one who jump scared me the most in FNAF 4. Of course they have Bonnie who I bet also turns into a nightmare and hey look that's Nightmare Bonnie who saw that coming. Nightmare Bonnie also jump scares me a lot. Him and Chica just make you feel safe and then BAM you're dead. Oh, I don't like the design of these plushies at all. Look at what they did to the poor moon, my boy. I don't like it. They also have another that looks like it's supposed to be Glamrock Freddy. Ew, I don't like this one. Oh, check out these action figures they have in stock. They have Vanny, but looks like that's all they have from the security breach collection of figures. And they also have tie-dye Chica, but none of the other tie-dye figures. I don't really collect action figures though, so I'm gonna leave these here. Oh my goodness, look at these Freddy plushies. They are so poofy and squishy and huggable. I am obsessed. These are too cute. Yikes, these are far less cute. They've got the sun and moon eclipse. Funko plushes. They're cool, but they're like not my vibe of plush at 
all. They're kind of creepy, to be honest. Do you guys like these ones? Did anybody end up getting these? I, I don't like them that much, but that's just me. All right, the mall has been fun, but what do you say we go around the corner to Spirit Halloween and see if they've got any FNAF stuff in stock? Here's some Monty and Freddy costumes from Security Breach. I'm kind of loving these jumpsuits of Foxy and Freddy. And look, they have more Foxy costumes below too. I always find these costume versions of the animatronics to look kind of silly. Don't you find that? Here, get a closer look at the Freddy jumpsuit. Personally, I think the Foxy one looks cooler, but again, red just really isn't my color, so I don't know if it's worth it. What do you think? It's like 60 bucks, so that's a lot to spend. Looking more at the Monty costume, it seems pretty cool. I think his mask turned out the best out of the animatronics costumes here. And Glamrock Freddy, I don't know. I'm not digging this look, but I'm still thinking about getting the Freddy jumpsuit. Hey, look over here. They have another section of FNAF stuff, and there's some more items that we didn't see over there. I think Roxanne Wolf is the only female character costume they have at the store. I kind of wish they had a Chica costume. That would be so tempting to buy. You guys know I love Chica. They have more of those plush bags here too, but this time only of Freddy. And it's the Freddy one that I think looks weird, so no thanks. They've got more Monty costumes, and here is a Bonnie costume, which I think might be the scariest of them all. His mask and hands are so eerie looking, don't you think? They also have a Freddy t-shirt and a Foxy t-shirt, which both feel kind of lazy. But I also like that they have these masks that are sold separately too for Foxy and Freddy, but... Why do all the masks look so weird? Like, did they design these from memory of the characters or what? Since winter is around the corner, of course they've got some hats here too of Freddy and Foxy. Man, they make the most merch for Freddy and Foxy. If your favorite character is one of those two, you're set. Meanwhile, I'm gonna cry because my favorite character is Circus Baby. And if instead you want to be a FNAF character without being a FNAF character, maybe go for the deadly bear costume instead. Okay, we're back. Let me show you what I ended up buying. Honestly, I didn't end up getting a whole lot. The only things I got were the Five Nights at Freddy's pajama pants and a Five Nights at Freddy's tumbler cup. Both were from Hot Topic, which was the first place that we went to. Now looking back, I wish I got a lot more stuff. What out of this vlog would you buy if you could? Let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Who knows, maybe I'll be wearing my new pajama pants.